Welcome back. It is 612 financial minds around the world still trying to wrap or wrap around what's going on on Wall Street after the GameStop stock surged last week thanks to a group of small investors on Reddit that drove up the price of the stock. And here to explain exactly what's happening, CEO and co-owner of MoneyWise Wealth Management, Sherrod Wait, Thank you for being here this morning. Appreciate it. You bet. Good morning. Even today, even this morning, as this whole thing is sort of like moves on, are people still thinking back to that day, the big investors, the longtime Wall Street guys going, how did this happen? How did it slip by us? Oh, absolutely. This is something that, that we've never seen before, where hedge funds have been pushed up against their backs up against the wall by the retail, average retail Reddit trader out there. It's really a phenomenal story. You know, and when we look back at this and what happened as far as that goes, you know, so many investors getting together and doing this, you know, many people would think of a movie and say, wait a second, the big firms, if they did this, would be in trouble, but the Reddit people are not? Exactly, because what we're seeing, the people that are doing this now are the average retail investor that are sort of organizing through social media platforms like Reddit, where they're sort of ganging up on the big guy, on the hedge fund, and trying to squeeze them out of their positions, squeeze them out of the positions that they're taking, which is they're thinking the stocks are going to go down, whereas these little retail investors are going, nah, -uh, we're all go grouping together here. We're buying this stock for the long term, and we're going to drive this price up. We'll see what happens and see how this battle plays out. And that was going to be my next question. Now that it happened once, you would think that the big money, the hedge funds that lost billions would be taking some sort of uh, stance now to prevent something like this from happening again. Or could it? Yeah. Yeah. And that's what the hedge funds have been doing. And they've been doing it by raising more money to cover their short positions. The question will come down to it's sort of like a game of, game of hot potato where who's left holding the bag, who's left holding this stock at the end of the day. And it'll come down, really, I think, to those who have the deepest pockets. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yesterday was not a good day for these retail investors as the stock slid nearly 30 percent. We'll see what happens when the market opens up today. But it's going to be really interesting. It'll come down to who has the most money at the end. Now, you were talking about Robin Hood uh, during the commercial break with me and the fact that they had to scramble and get uh, a couple of billion dollars in order to cover their position. How does that work? So uh, Robin Hood, which is a, a broker dealer and, and they're, they're facilitating these trades, they have capital requirements. They're requi they have requirements by the government is how much cash they need to have on hand to cover the positions of these traders. Robin Hood wasn't expecting, I think, to have to come up with that much cash, which is more cash than they've had to come up to even start up the company, this billions of dollars that they've had to borrow from hedge funds, by the way. Oh. Uh, well, ironically enough, uh, where that happened. So do you see more of these types of Robin Hood traders popping up now in the future? Yeah, you know, this is something, this is a phenomenon that we've been, we've seen for, for many, many, many years. What we're seeing now with GameStop and AMC and now Silver is really just an exaggerated example of this. This is just a heightened sort of situation with mm -hmm. a special set of circumstances. So this is real common in, in Wall Street. We just don't see it play out to this extreme. And we're, we're running out of time, but I need to ask you this. Do you then caution people who saw this and said, hey, I want to get in on something like this, too? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you're interested in getting in in something like this, you have to look at it as gambling. You're speculating. You're not investing for the long term or for your retirement. So definitely, if I, I'd recommend do not gamble with money that you need to have for retirement in the long term. If you're going to play around and, and, and speculate, just do it with a small amount of money, something that won't hurt you if you lose it. Very good. Sherrod Waite with Money Wise Guys. You can hear him every day on KERN from noon to one. Sherrod, thanks for being here. Thank you.